How's it going guys, Ultimate Noob here, back with another video, and I hope you're all enjoying Season 5. And if you're not, and if you are, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Now on today's video, I'm going to be ranking each and every legend in Apex, uh, according to what I think uh, goes from the top tier, to uh, basically bottom tier hot garbage trash. So let's get into it. First up we have Gibraltar, even though his dome shield received a slight nerf, which is basically um, the cooldown speed on it has been increased, um, it's still OP as in Gibraltar um, is still one of the best characters in the game to abuse. So if you guys want to pick him up and get some easy gunfight wins, make sure you guys use him. In at number 2, we have Wraith. Wraith has stayed as one of the most consistent top tier characters since day one of Apex. Sweaty Wraith mans will know what I'm talking about. Small hitbox, phase ability, everything you need to be the guy who drops 10 to 20 kills a game. Wraith is your legend. Next up we have Mirage. Finally works his way into a top list that does not involve trash. Mirage received a massive rework, so all of his abilities were basically discarded and he got new ones where he can res his teammates while going invisible and making his teammates invisible. He can also uh, take control of his decoys. There's a lot of fun to be had with Mirage and can definitely be used uh, a lot in pubs. I'm not too sure about ranked, but in pubs, I would definitely recommend using Mirage. Next up, we have the new character Loba. I've personally been having a lot of fun with Loba currently, um, number 15 in the world for kills on her. I'll be grinding to get higher in the leaderboards with Loba, but she's been a lot of fun and she hella thick as well. But yeah, Loba is eye candy, plus she's one of the best legends in the game. Uh, her teleport ability uh, gives you opportunity for multiple plays to be made. You can retake high ground. It's the best used in 1v3s where once you down an opponent, you can instantly reposition yourself to high ground while people are pushing you down to low ground. So what you could basically do is bait somebody to low ground and then throw up your um, teleport and take high ground from them and get an easy win in your gunfights. In at number five, we have Caustic. Caustic received a slight buff. Uh, it wasn't exactly a big change, but now his teammates can somewhat not get affected by his gas. Now when Respawn released this patch note, uh, everyone thought that uh, everyone could see clearly through the gas, but the thing is that now you just won't get slowed by the gas. There's still the visual clutter, so be careful about that. But if you're a Caustic main, definitely try using him a bit more. You won't get abused by your teammates as much as you used to while putting that gas down. Defenses allow you to choke third parties and make your own choke points and her pylon protects you from those third parties uh, preventing the nade spams. Coming in at number 6 we have Watson. Watson has been one of the most tactical and best legends for ranked since her release in season 2 and she remains that way because she hasn't been changed and rightly so because her, her fences allow you to choke third parties and make your own choke points and her pylon protects you from those third parties, uh, preventing the nade spams. Coming in at number 7, we have Bloodhound. Now when it comes to Bloodhound, uh, it was kind of a debate between putting Bloodhound and Crypto on the same level or on a higher tier, but I feel like this season, ever since Bloodhound got that massive buff, I kind I'm, I would put him higher up, but his hitbox just brought him a bit lower. So Bloodhound now received a buff where you can scan once every 25 seconds. So you can definitely keep spamming that scan button and knowing where your enemies are. And that comes in handy quite a lot when it comes to finding players, especially with Bloodhound. And the way the new lobbies go, they just die out quite quickly. Like my games have been going uh, to maximum round two or round one in pubs these days. So having, an oct having a Bloodhound or a Crypto on your team would definitely come in handy. So I'd be putting Crypto and Bloodhound on like a similar tier right now. But Crypto does uh, provide you for a more team-based gameplay, so he could also be utilized in ranked a bit. Now moving on to the lower tier re legends, uh, next up we have Revenant. Revenant hasn't received that many changes and I still feel that he's a very iffy character. That it's more on like personal opinion if you want to use Revenant or not, but... 
I wouldn't exactly recommend using any of the legends that are I'm going to be mentioning right now. Coming in next, we have Lifeline. Now, ever since all the buffs uh, have been dished out to most characters, like Gibraltar, where he can res faster in his dome, Loba, where she can see loot through walls and access loot so easily, uh, I'd say that maybe being a Lifeline main is currently at its lowest point. Where you, you can't, you really don't have that much utility in your team. Because now, if you bring up the debate of res revives, which Lifeline was famous for, um, now you have Mirage that revives you invisibly and turns you invisible as well. So, I don't exactly know what the developers are thinking about with Lifeline, but she's definitely now in that kind of hot trash garbage tier. Next, we got the legend that got the biggest nerf of all time. His cooldown has been reduced to 35 seconds, yes, and that is Pathfinder. The moment his grapple speed was decreased from 15 seconds as a cooldown to 35 seconds. Pathfinder is now hot trash. I would not recommend using Pathfinder in your games, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't. Uh, if you do, just remember that once you grapple into a fight, you're not getting out of that fight with a grapple. Well, unless your enemies fail to kill you within the next 35 seconds. If not, go ahead. Use them at your own peril. And last but not the least, Octane. It hurts me to say this, I'm an Octane main, former Octane main, with like 18,000 Octane kills, but Octane is just utter trash. There is nothing that Octane does that brings a tactical advantage to you or your team. Um, the jump pad that you use is basically a trip for you back to the lobby as long as your enemy has half decent aim. If anyone catches you using that jump pad, you're basically giving them and their team a free kill on you and whoever uses that jump pad. I mean, if you want for trolls, you can just throw the jump pad down, camp it and just wait for someone to use it and then just laser them out of the sky. But please do not use Octane in pubs, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just a word of advice from a former Octane main. He brings absolutely nothing to the table. And that's my net, guys. That's the uh, that's my legend uh, tier system for this season so far. Now, these are subject to change as the season goes on with more buffs and nerfs being introduced. I will make videos on that as well as that comes in. And if you guys want a tutorial on Loba and how to use her, let me know. I'm one of the top Lobas in the world. So if you guys want some tips and tricks on Loba, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It's been your boy, Ultimate Noob. Peace out. Oh my god.